Hi guys, this is about my experience with free uh, tax filing. Um, yeah, I was looking this uh, this year. I was looking for uh, free software to file taxes. In the last couple of years, I have had uh, people doing this for me, and it cost a lot. And I thought, yeah, it's maybe a good idea to do it myself and I heard about free options, free software to do this and you can go to irs.gov and here you have the link I will post it in the description and you can go here and then um, yeah there's a, a description site um, where you can find free filing um, yeah, uh, there's also options for to, to fill forms from here. That's also good if you are not eligible for free filing. Usually you are just eligible below an income of $66,000. Uh, so the good thing is you can, there's a lookup tool. I think they have changed it a little bit uh, a, a couple of months ago there were just was just a, f uh, a web page where you had to look for yourself um, yeah ah th this is still the page okay if you go to start free file now then it brings you to the page where it uh, has a little bit more descriptions it tells you in which uh, it, it already brings you to these options like tax act free file free tax and so on 1040 easy tax tax layer turbo tax free options and there are even more uh, but the, here it says usually in which states it's uh, you are eligible which age and yeah what, what's the income that you uh, are illegal to for this so usually it's sixty six thousand dollars sometimes it seems sometimes it's fifty one thousand you have to really be careful about this and i have tried a couple of them and the thing is i really have to tell or to warn you about this i mean these are not total scams uh, I mean they start based on IRS they are maybe somehow approved I don't know but um, it, it has worked uh, for me with none of these software so at the end I had to go back and uh, fill out these forms so here I think uh, no, that's a, another th uh, free file. I don't know how it works. I mean, when you Google the forms on the IRS, you, you will find everything. So just go to, let's say, um, hold on a second. If you go to Google and type IRS 1040 uh, form, then you will find this and usually you what will find you will find two things there's an instruction page uh, probably here and there is the real uh, form so like here and you can start typing in it the bad thing is you can't save there is no no assistance but the good thing it it accepts everything i mean there's no check between uh, amounts so if you think you it's okay to fill this like this then you just file it it's your responsibility uh, if you go with these softwares there are many 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 checks and even more checks than it says here that's a little bit the problem here it uh, says just uh, some of uh, things but I have run into a couple of pro problems um, I have tried like when you have just uh, uh, no income let's say you have no income you have uh, tax refunds uh, for bank accounts and you have even some 
bigger deductions or uh, like a uh, um, tax which you uh, want to take over like losses from last year from a business uh, and such things then it says oh you're not not eligible for for this uh, you can't file because you have you don't have um, income uh, your your income is not above uh, zero uh, and you have um, like tax refunds so yeah th those things so uh, really really strange things i have run re really into major uh, uh, two problems majorly um yeah these restrictions where you uh, fi uh, put in your your th uh, things your data and then it says oh yeah at the end after after uh, putting in all the data for for many hours it tells you oh no this is not possible you are not allowed to do this to do this and when you talk to support usually they don't know about this and after a couple of days they tell you oh for some strange reason uh, they had to uh, block users for using it when you have no income or something like that. Uh, strange things really and also what's uh, also bad when you have like specific things when you have uh, a lot of uh, when you have investments or foreign accounts or those things usually it, it can be a hassle or even the forms are not available i have found that several of these softwares they have just very few of the uh, forms available i mean of course the 1040 is available but after that it gets really difficult specifically yeah let's say if you have foreign accounts or uh, larger investments or, um, or other specific things then uh, they say oh no it's not allowed some uh, provide the option to buy like uh to 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 pay twenty dollars thirty dollars or something like that and then you can use these forms other softwares they don't have these options so um it's really difficult i can tell you if you start if you decide to start with one of these softwares then start early don't start at the second last day or even on the last day uh there's a high probability that you will fail so when you do ha when you have to uh, when you forgot and let's say you have to make your tax return on the very last day then i highly recommend using these irs forms so that's uh then you can just fill in everything you can print and sign and then you go to post this office and send it so that's the safe option the other thing can be a little bit of time saving when everything runs good when everything works right away straight away but this is really rare i can really tell you if you have just like standard really standard nothing no no uh home no nothing not, not, not nothing special just like you you have just a, a rental uh, like an apartment you have regular income no self-employment no nothing then it probably and, and and just small income then it probably will work but i guess 90 for 90 90 percent of the people it won't work so you have to be really careful about free tax solution they are really really limited and even when some of these pages have uh, support like the one uh, no, another one which is not here the credit karma they also provide uh, free tax return and they provide even good support they have a chat which is also free which is really surprising that they have uh, a real-time support on a free solution but some uh, usually uh, either they don't they can't help you they are not willing to help you or they, they they are not able to help you i don't know uh, you can talk to them but usually they they can't provide you really good solutions so yeah either um you you do uh, you hire some somebody a professional which i all always recommend then it's less work and less risk or you at least use a paid version then you have access to 
all the forms usually not and but but not every time you have to also be careful with the paid solutions some paid even some paid solutions don't have all the forms i have run also into this problem and then the problem is you have paid in advance and then you figure out that you don't have access to all forms what you are go going to do um yeah it can be a, a problem to get a refund so you have to be really careful when you try online solutions and specifically free online solutions this is just my advice so yeah if you are not not sure just keep doing this uh this is can be a little bit of a hassle but especially when you have a sample from previous years and uh the, it, it didn't change a lot then it's probably still easier to go with the just a uh, printable form so yeah that's it for now i hope i was able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time